Hey guys, my name is Blake. I make videos about DIY projects, and today I'm going to be showing you how I made a smaller yet stronger floating shelf. The shelf is made using a simple 2x6 board, so it won't require much work to complete and is very beginner friendly. At the end of the video, I'm going to do a test just to see how strong it actually is by seeing if I can stand on it. Nailed it! I like to use tools that I think most people would have at home and that are fairly inexpensive. That being said, you'll need these tools to complete this project. The one tool you may need to buy is a pocket hole Craig jig, but you can find these down in the description for about $20 to $30. The wood I'll be using is a Douglas fir 2x6 that you can find at your local hardware store. It's about 5.5 inches wide by 1.5 inches thick. Included in the Craig jig are screws that are great for joining two pieces of wood together. They have a flat pan head at the top that pulls the two pieces of wood together for a tight join. Unfortunately, they're not long enough or thick enough for what we're doing today. I have tested a few different types of screws in the past and none of them seem to hold up. That being said, the only screws I recommend are the 3 inch long GRK multi-purpose wood screws. If you want to support the channel in making videos just like this one, I'll leave an Amazon affiliate link down in the description. To recap, don't use these screws, use this screw. Next we'll need to find out how wide to make the shelf. In most houses, you'll have a stud every 16 inches. Knowing this, I'm going to cut my shelf at 20 inches to give myself 2 inches on both sides of the shelf for more strength. You could go a little bit longer than this, but I wouldn't really recommend going shorter unless you have an extra stud in your wall. Again, I try to make videos that are beginner friendly and use simple tools, so if you enjoy these videos, please consider nailing that like button below. After the shelf is all cut, it's now time to sand and stain the shelf if you choose to do so. If I were to stain my shelf, I would pick something that matches my house like this dark stain or just finish it with a nice coat of lacquer. Next we're going to take our tape measure and we'll mark 2 inches on both sides of the shelf. Now take out your Craig jig and set it to 1.5 inches. We're setting it at 1.5 inches because our board is only 1.5 inches thick. That way when you start drilling, the screw will come out the center of the shelf and that's what we want. Next I like to mark a line with a square so it's easier to line up the Craig jig, but you don't have to if you don't want to. Now take your Craig jig and slide it over so the line lines up with the hole. Then just clamp it down in place. When you start to drill, it's important to make sure the bit doesn't go all the way in. I like to leave about a half inch of the drill bit sticking out and I do this so the shelf has a little bit more wood for the screw to hold on to. It should look something like this when you're done. Now just do the same thing to the other side. I didn't quite clamp it in the correct spot, but it shouldn't matter if you get a little bit off. Now go to the wall you want to mount your shelf on and measure how high you want it to be. Then find the studs in the wall using the stud finder. I like to mark where they are using a piece of tape. Now take your shelf and insert the screws in each hole. Place it on the wall and screw in one side. After you get one side in, take your level and level the shelf. Then screw in the other side. It should now look something like this. Now we have to fill in the holes. The easiest way to do this is using a 3 8 wooden dowel. These are about 2 bucks and you can pick it up at your local hardware store when you're buying your shelf. To install it, simply push down and twist at the same time. Once it's down all the way, just cut it off with your handsaw. When you do this, be careful not to hit the wall. If you do, you can add a bead of caulking to try and cover it up. Once that's done on both sides, you can sand down the rest of the dowel. At this point, you can paint or stain the dowel to match your shelf. Now the point you've all been waiting for. Can I actually stand on this shelf? I'm adding a strap to help me balance, but it won't be holding any of my weight. And there you have it, a small floating shelf that I can actually stand on. These screws are seriously amazing. And if your finished results look like this, then congratulations you nailed it. Well, in this case, you screwed it. 
Hope you guys enjoyed the video, and if you did, please consider nailing that like button below and sharing this video with your friends and family. I'll talk to you guys later.